Hi, welcome to day five of multiplying and dividing fractions. So today we're going to talk about what happens if we have a mixed number. So what we're going to want to do first is change that mixed number to an improper fraction. You do that by multiplying the whole number times the denominator, so 1 times 2, and then you add the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and you keep the same denominator. And then we're just going to check to see if we can um, cross cancel or if we can simplify. So 3 does not go into 5, 3 doesn't go into 2, so we're good there. And then 2 does go into 4, so 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 4 two times. So we actually got to simplify it here, which makes it easier in the end. So then we're going to do 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 times 5 is 5. So this is an improper fraction, and we're going to change this back to a proper fraction. So how many times does how many times does five go into six? One time, and then there's one left over, and we keep our denominator. So one and a half times four fifths is actually equal to one and one fifth. So there's a lot going on there. I would take a moment, pause. You might have to look through it a couple of times to see all those different things that are happening. We're kind of getting to a culminating part of everything that we've been doing with fractions. Okay, so let's look at one that is a division problem. So once again, we are going to have to change this to an improper fraction. We multiply the whole number times the denominator, which 2 times 4 is 8, Add the numerator, 8 plus 3 is 11, and then we keep the denominator. Um, we might as well just do this at the same time. We're going to actually change this to multiplying, and we're going to flip this fraction over, so it would be 4 over 1. Okay, and then we're going to look for cross-canceling or simplifying, and right here I see that 4, here's a numerator and here's a denominator, so we can cross-cancel there. And 4 goes into both of them, one time here, one time here. 11 times 1 is 11, and 1 times 1 is 1. So 11, 1 goes into 11, 11 times. So that is our final answer. 2 and 3 fourths divided by 1 fourth is equal to 11. So there you have it. I hope that helps you with today's lesson, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!